Okay, here's a plant with a pretty small flower. Um, so it's not that showy for, to, for you to look at. But it's an interesting plant. It's a wildflower that you'll see growing uh, in sort of open uh, dry woods usually. It's called scorpion grass. Uh, that's an unusual name. Um, and it's in the borage family. We'll talk about the borage family in just a moment. But the scorpion grass, uh, it's called scorpion grass because if you look at the the way the flowers are arranged, they form a little curl right here at the tip. Uh, and it's called a scorpioid cyme because it's shaped like a scorpion's tail. And because um, this plant has that shape, uh, back in the Middle Ages, or it would be, uh, have been thought of as uh, being able to cure a scorpion bite, and that's based on the, doc the doctrine of signatures, because the plant looks like a scorpion, that it has something to do with scorpion and should cure a scorpion sting. If you look at the individual flowers, they have five equal petals that are coming off the top of a, of a fused petal tube, and the calyx is, uh, of course, at the time of the flower is quite small, but you'll notice that very rapidly as the flowers fall off and they begin developing the fruits, the fruits enlarge rapidly so the, the fruit itself is actually much larger than the flower at, is at flowering time and they're covered with these uh, rather stiff but uh, more or less soft hairs. The genus is called Myosotis and the species is Macrosperma, um, also obviously from the, the seed larger than the flower. Um, Myosotis is the genus name refers to the soft hairs on the leaves uh, because myosotis means mouse ear. They also have uh, alternate leaves. The leaves are, are alternate um, as are the little uh, individual inflorescent stalks coming off between the leaf and the stem.